All right, I'm here with Anuj and Carlo, and they've got a weird contraption behind them that they invented, right? Am I right? We designed and built it, yeah. Okay, uh, can you first tell me what this thing is called? So this is an electric monowheel. Um, it is essentially a one-wheeled motorcycle in which the rider sits inside the wheel and it's electric. Okay, I'm gonna need more background than that. So like, <laughs> what, what got you guys to wanna do this? I think it was definitely like mostly just the engineering challenge of it. I mean, you know, these vehicles aren't exactly very common. There's very few of them. And um, this is actually one of the first ones that are electric. And so by being able to build something that, you know, you're not able to just go and copy a design somewhere else. I think for us as college students, that was kind of just a big challenge that we want to tackle and obviously a great learning opportunity. Do they make these as ICE vehicles, as internal combustion engine uh, vehicles? They do. So most people who um, build these actually build these as ICE vehicles. So we've seen, I think, only one other electric one in the world. Okay, so explain to me how this works. So I think I'm guessing that this uh, white pack here must be the battery? Correct. Yeah. Okay. And then probably some, let's see, this must be your motor. On the, I guess I can't really see it too well, but right in there must be the motor. Yeah. And it looks like a big crank and mo like, what, eight inch? <laughs> What, what, what are we yeah. talking for power? Here? So that's a 23 kilowatt motor right there. Oh wow! So this vehicle is actually spec'd to go up to 80 miles per hour. Wait, what? If we were able to steer it and control it. Yes. Okay, so wait. So okay, so <laughs> I get that there's a motor and a battery. We all kind of get that on this channel. Yeah. Uh, that must be putting a the pulley goes back to here. Yeah. And I see some like tension on something, and then this must be. What drives the vehicle? Wait, so that turns? I'm okay. My mind is so it's like a giant uh, hula hoop, like a hula hoop hamster wheel. <laughs> okay, that's spinning yeah. in the. Mo okay, now I'm getting. It. All right, yeah. so you've got handlebars, but that doesn't turn any wheel. No, correct. That's, that's, that's just to keep stability. just to keep you held into the vehicle. Yeah. Okay. So hypothetically, you could have any shaped handlebar you want because you're not really doing anything with that. You're just holding on for dear life. Okay, and I see what looks like. <laughs> I don't know, is that the brake? Oh. Yeah, so you can see there's a bit of damage to the vehicle. We crashed it several times last week. That's surprising. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, but yeah. so what speeds did you get it up to? Right now, uh, successful runs were usually around 20 to 25. We did take it up to 30 last week. Miles? Or? And, miles, miles per hour, hour. Yeah. Okay. Hence the crashes, you know, going a little faster, it becomes really unstable, um, especially when you're slowing down. So that's really the big issue for us right now, trying to figure out how we not just get up to the speeds that we're trying to reach, but then the, the difficult part is getting back down safely and stopping the vehicle. Yeah. What does the acceleration feel like? <laughs> it's, it starts very slow. Um, so, you know, honestly, like you start pedaling a bike and that goes accelerates faster than this does. Okay. But as you start um, gaining a m momentum, it's a lot easier to build up speed. Um, and, and when does it start to feel scary? What speed? <laughs> like one mile an hour or what? So I would honestly say that it doesn't really ever feel scary until you're about to go off the track and start slowing down. At least for me, like I drive it and the faster I go, the safer I feel because actually as you get faster, it gets more stable. Wait, kind of like a gyroscope? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so I understand that. So you're staying upright, but now how about steering? How does that, there's, I don't see any way to steer this. So that is one of our biggest challenges. Now, theoretically, you should be able to lean and steer a little bit. What we've found is with the vehicle we've designed, leaning really doesn't do much. So once you get past about 20, 22 miles per hour on this vehicle, it's going straight or it chooses its direction and it just goes that direction, ah. um, which is one of our biggest obstacles with racing it on a track because if you aren't going dead center, then straight eventually goes off the track. Now, um, I heard something about you guys trying to break a record, maybe. What's, yeah. First of all, what's yeah. the record, the existing record in one of these things? Um, so we're trying to set the record as the first electric monowheel. So we were aiming for 45 miles per hour with that. Okay, so no one's done an electric record yet. That's Correct. Right. Okay, yeah. that's great. So yeah. anything will do. So Guinness World Records has actually approved us to set a record and they set the standard for 45 miles oh, per okay. hour. Okay, yeah, otherwise it wasn't exciting enough right. or something. Okay, yeah. so 45 <laughs> miles per hour. Uh, all right, do you think so, that's attainable? Yeah, so we've actually, we've taken the vehicle 47 on a treadmill. Okay. And honestly, the only obstacle with getting up to that speed 
is having a track big enough to do it without going off the track. So you don't really need a track. You need a just giant, huge, yeah. flat area. Like, yeah. like, is there a place you could just go to do that? Ideally, the salt flats would be great. Um, so, you know, that's why in every direction so you could just go yeah that would be our ideal to set the record and the vehicle is totally capable we hit 30 miles per hour at a tenth of our max power last week okay so, so but there is an existing record with a gas powered one correct yeah and what is that speed that is 61 miles per hour so we can actually break that too wow um, okay so guys all we need is a big open area yeah basically okay. <laughs> and a crazy enough person to get on yeah which one of you two is going to be that person to break the record is it like rock paper scissors like how are you going to decide um so far i've been the one driving it i've been the only one who's i guess a big enough of a daredevil to feel <laughs> like i want to <laughs> wait I, um, I just thought of one other problem yeah uh, okay if you eliminate the crashing into something by turning uh when you slow down fast on this thing don't you just start to do like uh rotations yeah that's another huge danger with this thing you know so that's part of the reason why we're doing regenerative braking instead of usually we, we barely touch the brake usually it's really there as an extra safety measure because if you brake too hard and if the wheel really locks up yeah you indeed start just wow. going round and yeah. round and you know at 45 miles per hour you i, don't I have, have some that. ideas for yeah. you guys if you want them one is like why not put a two big uh plexiglass uh sides on like bubbles on the side so we we actually have looked into that honestly when we finished this our goal was to build a gyrosphere from jurassic world not sure if you've seen that but it is essentially that but you know something that we were aiming for people have advised like oh you know put a shield on it do a roll cage but i think that kind of breaks the spirit of what a monowheel is what this kind of vehicle is that's just not you know how it's this supposed vehicle to be dangerous I uh, yeah exactly okay. My other um. <laughs> idea was to put a, a cable onto it up to a giant tower and just go around in circles and we could sell rides <laughs> on this thing. I mean, that we can do. Okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's, and let's do we'll it. We'll have every kid sign a waiver <laughs> and it's totally safe. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, on, actually on the braking note, what's actually interesting is we put in these brakes, but I have used them only one time ever. Um, and that was the first time I ever drove it. Use the brakes, realize never again. Um, <laughs> so, and now I see that you've got a uh, pretty hardcore boot here. Do you yeah. have to wear a special footwear when you ride this? Yeah, so we actually have a full racing suit here. Um, this is what I wear um, generally. Motorcycle oh, racers wow, will smart. Yeah. wear this. I mean, I've crashed numerous times at 25, 30 miles per hour. And has that um, saved you? What's that? Has it saved you from I injury? would be dead without this, wow. without okay. a doubt. There have been accidents where I've been caught up in the vehicle. And what's different about this in a motorcycle is it's a lot easier to get stuck in this. So, you know, if this crashes, you know, your leg can get stuck in part of the frame yeah. or your body is caught in one part of the vehicle. And if it starts slamming, you just keep on going down with it over and over. Now, so. the main frame is this very heavy, is that steel? This is aluminum. Aluminum, okay. Um, for us, you know, if we were to do it again, I would, there's a lot that we would change. We'd probably change it to carbon fiber to start. For weight, lowering your center of, uh, center of gravity. I think that um, we chose aluminum for cost when we were first designing it. We iterated through designs and we wanted to go as low cost as possible to do that. Uh, so if someone wants to build one of these, uh, where can they reach you? To, so you can talk them out of it or, or talk them into it. I don't know. Uh, is there like, is there a website? Can we follow you guys? Like, how do we, how do we know that you're going to still be alive in a few months? <laughs> right now, the project itself went through Duke University. So we were both students from there. We've graduated now. And so this is actually probably the last few weeks that we're working on this project. What's next for you guys? So I'm actually going to SpaceX. So I was at Tesla before this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, the so t-shirt makes sense now. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, and I'm still job hunting, trying to see, you know, with, with COVID-19, it's a difficult job market. But Tesla, do you hear that? SpaceX, something. do you hear that? We got we got engineers for you. Hey, you he, came, he came from Audi, though, so. That's all right. <laughs> we, we accept all, as long as you've converted. Have you converted to electric fully? Uh, the e-tron. Hold up your right hand. On, so. <laughs> That's true. There is the e-tron, exactly. 
Awesome. All right. So yeah. So how can we follow? Are you going to put this? Do uh, you have like a, a an Instagram or Twitter for this? So or? we're so far we've been very secretive about it. Oh, okay. we don't so really. Are know. we breaking this? So Is this going to be? We're we're starting very soon in the next wow. couple of weeks. Like we made so our. So by the time you're watching this, this we're probably breaking the story. Practically. Yeah. Okay. Probably. Okay. Yeah. So we honestly we made our first Instagram page last night. Don't even remember the ID because the account has just been set up. All right. We will try and put the link down below in the video so yeah. that you guys know. Uh, but why so secretive? Like, what's, uh, what's, what's, what? Come on, you're trying to break a record here. <laughs> I don't know. That's so Carlo and I work on a lot of projects together, and we really like to focus on the work and engineering and to create a big product before showing off to the entire world. I see. Okay, I that think. makes sense. You want to test it, make sure that you're proud of it before you. Exactly. Oh, and, yeah. and not, not every project we've worked on is something I really want to gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. out there for everyone to see, but uh, this has been really good project for us. We've learned a ton and I think we're both really proud with the end result as well. That's awesome. I'm um, just really curious about the SpaceX thing because I mean we're huge SpaceX fans. What uh, what got you interested in SpaceX? What are you going to be working on? So um, I have been a huge Elon fan for the majority of my life. I just I love the mission of you know Tesla and SpaceX. He really tries to push the boundary and change whatever industry he's in mm -hmm. um, and I really admire that. I am actually going to be working on Starlink. Um, so right. can't talk about what I'm doing too much, but okay. I'm very excited for Off it. Off camera, I'm gonna just uh, put them in a full Nelson and get all the information for you guys. <laughs> that's, that's awesome, that's exciting stuff. Well, congratulations to you guys. I hope that you stay alive uh, on this thing. Uh, this Thanks. looks very dangerous. <laughs> congratulations to you guys on, uh, and hey, hey, I hope you break the record. If you do, please give us some footage, because uh, sure, that's yeah. exciting. All right, thanks you guys. All right.